being a parent at any age is yeah, overwhelming. I was just about to say that. No matter how old you are. We are back with a kind of Q&A, yeah. kind of, about how we went through high school with this boy being inside my stomach and then how we dealt with it when he was here. Also, you like his pants. NFP, no fingerprint. We're going to leave the link in the bio. Go check it out. Go support. Go see Zayden on the website. Yes. Yes. Uh, let's get to it. You guys asked for this. So... And if we didn't answer your question in this video, just go ahead and leave it in the comments and we'll be, or DM us we'll, and we'll answer it. Yeah, we'll reply to comments. The first question is, did people start rumors? You should already know the answer to that. Yes, people it's start rumors about everything, especially in high school. Yeah, especially in high school. They make a rumor about anything and everything. The craziest rumor though is that Victor wasn't Zayden's dad. And of course, like high school, that's the main thing that people think, who's the dad but i was with him since middle school and i wasn't with anybody other than him so it was kind of stupid that everybody was asking who's the dad and a girl even had the nerve to go knock on his door and ask him i mean tell him do you know you're not the dad he would know if he wasn't the dad of his own baby he was at baseball practice though but. are you going to college if so what are you majoring in Yes, we are going to college. We just graduated high school, but we are going to college because nobody's going to make a better life for our son than us, and that is going to college. I am majoring in dental hygienist, and- I'm going to go to be a firefighter. Do you want to have more kids? No, yes. I don't, but he does. Bro. He found stickers. <laughs> okay, next question. What activities did you have to drop, like sports or cheer? So, you want to answer this? Because you didn't have to drop yours. Yeah, I didn't have to drop. Bro, get out the way. So, he didn't drop any sports. He went to school all day and he played baseball during the afternoon and I stayed home with Zayden and i had to quit cheer when i was pregnant but i didn't tell them it was because i was pregnant i just told them that my grades were failing so i could quit cheer yeah so i just quit cheer but that was it how do you get money to buy all the supplies for the baby if you're too young to work that's a good question and that's like the main question everybody thinks about when they think about young people having kids is how do they afford it and when we got pregnant, we were 15. So Victor didn't have a job. I didn't have a job. We were both too young. We were still in school. So basically everything that we had for him was from the baby shower and our families like handing us hand-me-downs and stuff, basically like a hand-me-down crib. They gave us a crib and we sanded it down and we made it a whole new crib. We painted it and made it a whole new and we got clothes from like once upon a child and stuff and any little money that he did save up sometimes we would just buy what we wanted for him but our baby shower we did like a registry and they got everything off the list and more and we did a a diaper raffle yeah over there. so he had diapers until he was one years old and we didn't have to buy diapers and then when he was one we did another diaper raffle and then by the time he was done with diapers we were potty training already yeah so, so we never really had to buy diapers. Yeah, and we we were blessed with a big family yeah. and a lot of support to where we didn't have to worry about anything. Yeah. But if you guys are young and having a baby and having a baby shower, do the diaper raffle. Yeah. Saves your life. You're not walking. How did you manage at such a young age? Was it ever overwhelming? Yes. It was always overwhelming. It's still overwhelming now. Being a parent at any age is yeah, overwhelming. I was just about to say that. No matter how old. 
25, 35, it's going to be overwhelming. You can't prepare yourself for something like that. You read all the books, you can do all the things, you just don't actually know what it is until you actually have the baby there and you're doing everything all the time. Plus, like... Everyone's going to parent different because it depends how the baby acts. Yeah. And Every baby's not the same. Yeah, all the babies are going to be different. Mm -hmm. But it was especially harder for us because we were juggling school, having to find a job, dealing with a new baby. And it was hard on me because, like, he, we were in the hospital extra time with Zayden because he had to be put in, like, the little incubator thing. And um, we were in there extra time. So as soon as we left the hospital, he was in school that following week. So we left on, like, a yeah. Saturday. And that Monday, he was already back in school. So it was me by myself. Oh, when we left the hospital? Yeah, it yeah. was me by myself having to figure out what to do with the little baby that needed my help and it was just so much for me because he was going back to school playing baseball i was seeing all my friends on snapchat doing everything that they were normally doing and i felt like i was missing out on everything because i was home with the baby what was the hardest thing you went through during labor um well i pushed for three hours and zayden didn't want to come out so i was pushing 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 and my epidural failed so i was feeling everything and by the time it was time for him to come out, his umbilical cord was wrapped around his neck twice and he wasn't breathing. So if you ever see baby pictures of him when he first came out, he was super purple. And it was because he had like no oxygen going to him at all. It took him like 20 minutes to breathe. And there was like so many nurses in the room. It was really scary for me because I didn't know what was going on and I thought he was dead. He wasn't dead. He just wasn't alive yet. It took him time to wake up. <laughs> And he was in the bathroom throwing up because... I wasn't throwing up. I was about to throw up. I was crying. What about you? What would you have told yourself back then? Enjoy it. I feel like I didn't enjoy it as much as I could. Yeah. And not worry about stuff. And like... Everything is gonna... Yeah, everything... Every would've... day, honestly. Mm -hmm. Everything would have worked out, but we didn't... We were too nervous and... Yeah. Next question is, have you ever wanted to stop going to school? He never did because like he kept going to school afterwards. But for me, it was really hard. I jumped from school to school to school to school, trying to figure out what was best for me and Zayden both because I didn't have nobody to fall back on. He had to go to school. He had to play baseball. One of us had to get our education. And if it wasn't me, it had to be him because I was home with Zayden. So there were so many times but where it was both of us that got it. Yeah, but there were so many times where I just felt like I was defeated and the world was against me and I wanted to quit, but I never quit. I just kept going. I answered all the questions. It was hard getting through high school with the baby, but we did it. If you guys want us to post any specific videos, comment it down below. And we'll be back with more videos. Peace.